there is no denying. But I say this to our citizenry. Hey! We, ever your servants, will continue to defend your liberty and repel the forces that seek to take it from you. Your ministry remains strong. It's a very dangerous world on the cusp of the war. Rufus Scrimminger makes a rousing speech. He's a typical politician, you know, trying to make the situation seem better than it is. He's not 100% convinced personally that what he was saying was true and how could he be really given the forces against which they are pitted the aura office no longer plays any part of protection of harry potter those closest to him believe we have infiltrated the ministry <laughs> they got that right didn't they <laughs> ministry is gone minister of magic is there In the midst of all this madness, the Ministry has just fallen under the control of Voldemort and the Death Eaters. The Ministry's gone, and everything that might point to uh, you know, stability no longer is available to them. The world is falling apart around him and his friends. As your new Minister for Magic, I promise to restore this Temple of Tolerance to its former glory. Therefore, beginning today, each employee will submit themselves for evaluation. She's bounced back, hasn't she? She's trying someone in court to try to weed out. She wants some pure bloods in there, as usual. Mary Elizabeth Catamore, would you please tell the court from which witch or wizard you took this one? Of course, it's in Diagon Alley. This is just showing her once again, just making the most of what really little power she has. You're lying. Wands only choose witches, and you are not a witch. She's wearing a necklace that the three heroes want. Come on, we've got a whole crux to find. They need to get into the Ministry of Magic and obviously not be seen as them. Remember what we said. Don't speak to anyone unless absolutely necessary. Just try and act normal. There's a lot of kind of disguises in this film. The Polyjuice potion at the Ministry was quite, a, quite an interesting scene. This is completely mental. Completely? The world's mental. We had to act it out first. Uh, with them watching us to see how we move and uh, see how we talk and stuff. They would just kind of just mimic it the next take. It was really fun. I almost kind of had a role as a director as well a little bit. David really wanted me heavily involved in helping her kind of really become me. Emma moves it obviously very specifically physically, so I've been shown all the tapes of her walking and running and things like that, so I don't do anything too outrageously me as I would. <laughs> It's really strange. I've never been so self-aware. Like, I play with my... I'm doing it right now. I play with my hands a lot, which I never realised, but it's definitely interesting. Two, three... It's really weird watching someone kind of pretend to be you. Kind of got all my, my posture and everything down. Thank you, Albert. Well, she doesn't know that's them, so it's very satisfying, I think, for them to know that they're fooling her. It's great when the audience are in the gag, as it were. What on earth are you doing, Albert? You're lying, Dolores. And one mustn't tell lies. Stupid lies! No! Expelliarmus! 